Welcome to Wager Talk TV, where users get $25 in Wager Bucks added to their account after their first purchase at either Wager Talk or sportsmemo.com. I am Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas on Twitter, joined by Marco D'Angelo at Marco in Vegas and Yanni the Greek at Greek underscore gambler. All right, guys, I talk about this all the time on Twitter, and it's one of my favorite things about sports betting, especially when I'm on the underdog. Marco, I'll let you have the floor first. What is reverse line movement? Well, reverse line movement, also a phrase that we use, Joes versus pros. It's the same, basically the same thing is because you've got the public on one side, and if you're looking at a lot of sites, and we have it at Wager Talk as well, we'll show you bet percentages. If you see 70 or 80 percent of the bets coming in on one side, but yet the line is moving the other way, that is what we call reverse line movement, and Joes versus pros, Joes being the average better, the pros being the other. And Ace, you can take it a step further, and then I'll tell you one angle with it that is almost foolproof. All right. Yeah, reverse line movements a way for your average sports better to conclude where the wise guys, what side wise guys are on, the guys that actually win long term, with accuracy more than any other time, meaning you could be pretty certain that there's sharp money on that side to force that move, like Marco touched on. Now with all the betting percentages out there, if you see Team A is getting 90% of the action, but the line's moving in favor of Team B, rest assured, Team B line's moving because someone sharp bet that number, bet into it. So it's a way to be able to, to at least feel confident you're on the sharp side. But you got to keep in mind also, you may be taking a bad, if the line moved too much, you That's, may be taking a bad number So now. I know this is a uh, betting 102 video, but we're going to call this betting 201. This is a little <laughs> bit trickier. So let's use um, a game this year in college football, Penn State versus Minnesota. I liked Minnesota. I took the seven. It dropped down to six and a half. It dropped down to six. And everybody's going, well, do you still like Minnesota? Well, yeah, I like Minnesota to have a shot to win outright, but where does the average better need to say, okay, now this line has moved too far? Is there a parameter that you would have in a mind? Around a key number. Okay. Honestly, at seven, unless I made the line like minus three, minus 20, you know, or, or maybe four, minus four, I'd look to bet it. After it moved past that seven, it's kind of, you lost a lot of value. I mean, college football, a little less than NFL, but you kind of lost a lot of your line value there. And that's, that, again, and the, the only other thing you got to make sure with reverse line movement that you're actually, it's actually happening. That if you, the, the key is, is if you can't explain the reason for it, then you could conclude it's, it is reverse line example, movement. For example, there's not a, a major injury. Not an injury. Not a, it's not a game that, that looks like it's a potential for a scalp. If it's around that minus one plus one pick 'em ranges where you see betting syndicates scalp a lot, middle a lot. If you could eliminate those possibilities, they're not scalping it, they're not middling it, there's not an injury, it's not per public perception. This team didn't get blown out by 40 points last time. It's not recency bias. If you could eliminate those things, then you could pretty, be pretty, very confident that this is a very sharp move. And that's valuable, I think. Now, the example you use sets me up perfectly for my foolproof plan that you will win. I almost can guarantee you will win more than you will lose with this. And you talked about the Minnesota game with Penn State and that the line was seven. And then it went to six and a half and it went to six. When it moves off of when you've got yeah, the public on once, when it moves off a key number, a seven or a three, if it was seven and a half at the beginning of the week, then moved to seven, and then got to that six and a half. That's a huge. That's huge. That's huge. That you did take so much more money to move a game off of the key number. You know that it is big money and it is respected money. And this could be a whole nother video we might do down the road. Do you want a winning ticket at a bad number or a losing ticket at a good number? And this is a debate that a lot of people, oh, well, I lost the number. I'm not playing it. Well, you know what? And they went outright like, Min you know, like Minnesota did. And, and that's where it gets tricky because as someone who tries to give out information on here, Bleacher Report, podcast, stuff like that, it is hard because I do want people to have that closing line value, which, as you mentioned, could be a whole other video on itself. It is important to always get the best of the number. But in that case, 
We're talking they're, they're they went from plus 230 to plus 210. They still won the game outright. Right. Yes, you had 20 cents worse of the number, but you still had that plus 210 ticket, and that's where you kind of have to decide, I think, from your own personal responsibility as a sports better, where your parameters Your risk tolerance. Yes. Everyone's risk tolerance differs. 40 years doing this, when you see movements through key numbers, yeah. They're, they're, a two and a, a minus two and a half goes to minus three and a half in yeah. the NFL. Something, if no one's injured, there's a reason. Yeah, and even more so the other way. Yeah, when, when it's yeah. a home favorite, that's a three and a half, three, and then two and a half. I'm money lining all day. Sprinkle, all day. we're shoveling, we're shoveling it on there. All the sprinkles. Wise guys, wise guys. I'll take the worst of it. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, thank you, gentlemen. Wager Talk TV users, twenty-five bucks. In Wager Bucks, add it to your account after your first purchase at wagertalkandsportsmemo.com. Make sure you guys head over there and check it out.